Hello, I know you have actually been wondering why price often hits your stop loss then goes your direction afterwards. Well, stay with me on this video and I'm going to be showing you one reason why this happens and how you can avoid it. A video is going to play and I'm going to catch you on the other side after the video. So sit tight guys and I'll catch you on the other side. Hello and welcome. If this is your first time on the channel, you might want to hit the subscribe button. My name is King Wesley, also known as the Boom and Crash Agna. And today I'm going to be talking to you about one way uh, you can actually avoid price always hitting your stop loss, then ending up going in your direction. So basically, I'm going to be teaching you one rule about the stop loss. Now, this rule is... um. It's kind of broad, it's kind of needs uh, some kind of explanation because it kind of has to do with your psychology and understanding of what the stop loss is actually. Now, the thing is that we traders, uh, not really me, but then some traders um, do things unconsciously, not knowing why they do it. Now, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Now, when you put, let me take for example, a long position here, guys. For example, now when I have a long position, there is a reason why I give my stop loss a zone. There is a reason why I say, okay, I give my stop loss a zone. And I'm like, okay, if price should eventually, if price should eventually possibly uh sell, 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 and then take out this price level, my trade goes off. Now, there is a reason why this is a zone. There is a reason why I did not just make it a single price level that immediately price goes below my execution price. Boom, I close my trade. Now, the thing with traders is that sometimes they fail to give their trades room to play. Now, the thing is that when you take a trade, you give, you give space for price to play and do its thing. Now, price moves in waves. It's not just going to move in your direction always price moves in waves now if assuming let's say you take a buy position right here you should be able to give price enough room following structure and your technical analysis you should be able to give price enough room to play and do its thing and do its thing before finally moving your direction now the thing is that sometimes in the bits to maybe get a sniper entry you would want to be so 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 conservative and want to keep a very tight stop loss and you end up putting your stop loss to that and then price just does its thing as normal and as usual and then takes you out and then moves your direction now that one rule about the stop loss is this give your trade enough room or i wouldn't really say enough but give your trade room to play and as far as price has not hit your stop loss level your trade is still valid now this is what i'm trying to say guys this is what i am trying to say um okay i have a trade this way okay let me see i have a trade this way i have a trade this way now i have done something here guys i have given my trade enough room to play that is in this red zone that is enough room to play as far as it doesn't strike below it you get now the thing is if assuming i i place the trade right here and then my price goes below and it seems to be trading below my entry point now as far as price has not gone below my uh my 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 stop loss level it means my trade is still valid so price is going to keep playing until eventually it then goes up in my in my favor and then you know i'm, I'm in bleach but then if price is yet to break below my trade is still valid now one thing with traders is that once they see red they rush to close their trade and then oftentimes see price go back in their direction now that is wrong feel free to allow price do its thing you get now the reason why uh, i have observed traders do this is because one they tend to be to be greedy with their lot size now do not misunderstand this if you are giving price enough room to play it means you also are calculating your stop loss and you are you know adjusting it together with your lot size if assuming 
uh, let's say you're using one lot size and you want to give price and often play now before you even do that consider something consider your risk to reward ratio your risk to reward ratio is when you have okay let's say for example you're risking ten dollars to make thirty dollars that is quite fair but do not risk ten dollars to make five dollars that is foolish you get so in as much as you're giving price and offering to play do it according to your technicals do it according to structure now doing it according to your technicals means you also need to be good with your technical analysis you get so you see everything comes together to give you a positive trade in the market you need to be good with your technicals you need to be good with your psychology you need to be good with your risk reward ratio and then they will all come together to give you a good trade or a profitable trading you get so now back to the stop loss rule give your trade enough room to to um to play according to structure and your technicals and then also as far as price has not really broken below your stop loss level your trade is still valid so before you actually take a trade at first before you take an entry calculate your risks and be aware of how much you are risking if price you actually hit your stop loss now when you have that value in mind as far as price has not really gone below that or price has not reached that you wouldn't be on tension to to close your trades now that is why some traders tend to close their trades prematurely sometimes because they do not know how much they are risking so when they see some figures it gets them shaked and then it shakes them and then they close their trades now if in case you do not know how to cal- how to how to calculate um stop loss and and take profit and to know how much you're risking there's going to be a link on the video now possibly at the top right corner so just click the link and and you go and watch the video of how to calculate stop loss and take profit so you can know how much you are risking and how much you make at the end of the day so guys now when you are trading you should also put your risk to what ratio in consideration whereby if you want to take a trade and you're risking possibly 10 pips for instance make sure you are making minimum of three pips or at worst two uh, i'm sorry you're making minimum of 10 pips or at worst your risking tend to make 20 pips i said at worst guys means you shouldn't really do that all the time you get now that is how it should be you get that is how it should be give your trade enough room to to play and also consider your risk to what we show in hand Now you can actually begin to catch sniper entries when you're good enough but for for traders who are growing you should really really do this now i noticed something sometimes you know crash and boom can really really be kind of tricky i would say in the sense that you take a trade but then because your stop loss is too tight price spikes hits your stop loss and then starts to go your direction now if you have actually um used um if you've actually given your trade enough room to, to play and your entry is actually good you wouldn't face this um, scenario most often. You wouldn't really see it most often. But then when you are trying to keep your stop loss so, so tight, I, you really, really get stopped out a lot of times. You, get, you really get stopped out a lot of times. And then when you get stopped out, you see that trade or the price eventually ends up moving your direction. So the one golden rule about stop loss is what, again, give your trade enough room to play according to structure and your technical analysis and also as far as price has not broken below your stop loss level your trade is still valid so i wanted to keep this video short and straight to the point if you found value with this video please hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button because it helps youtube a lot with them kinds of share this video to other traders and then also you want to join my telegram channel where i upload chat analysis and signals also and um don't forget the agna course is still on grow your trading skills that really helped um average traders make about 20 to 30 dollars on a daily basis guys now that is what you will need to crown up your technical analysis skills i still remain your trader king wesley you want to message me on whatsapp my line my line is going to be on the description box below so with the telegram link be also so have a nice day don't forget to subscribe and then i'll catch you on the next video the trader wesley and i'm signing out Thank you.